So of course, company values are created and um, set by uh, the founder and the CEO. So when I first started uh, Boldly 10 years ago, I wanted a company where everyone felt a sense of belonging and where people were kind and where we all had each other's back and where we all wanted each other to succeed. That included our team wanting our clients to succeed, our clients wanting our team to succeed, um, and everybody just thriving in, in, in a work environment. Um, I think so many companies have a fear-based uh, company culture and I wanted just, just about the opposite. Um, as the years went on, um, and now we're 10 years on and with hundreds of team members, um, the culture is really, is really upheld by the team. Um, so I can no longer say that the company culture is held by, um, by the management team. You know, this is uh, the job of every single person on our team. And I'm, I'm very, very, very grateful that everyone uh, who's joined us share our company values of, of kindness, of transparency, of, of wanting each other to thrive, uh, of uh, working really, really hard to see others thrive and of um, generosity, a really generous spirit. Um, and knowing that if, uh, if my colleague thrives, if my client thrives, um, I thrive as well. And that's uh, the basis for, for how um, we've built Boldly and how Boldly continues to, uh, to thrive as well. So yes, the company culture is set by the founder, but then really it's up to, to the team to maintain it, to work really, really hard to make sure that uh, um, the values that, that we all joined uh, Boldly for are, are upheld on a day-to-day -day basis by our, our own actions.